You're probably here because your LinkedIn account has been banned. First of all, don't worry. First things first, let's figure out what type of restriction do you have. LinkedIn has two types of restrictions. The first one is a temporary restriction. This is where LinkedIn shuts you out for at least two, three days. It can go up to a few weeks as well, but it's typically a couple of days because they believe you've been viewing too many profiles or you're using automation tools. This is the kind of message you get once you log in. When you get this, don't worry too much. They will give you your account back. However, you should still do a few things. First of all, if you were using automation tools, stop immediately. Even if you want to continue reaching out to potential customers on LinkedIn, do it manually, at least for a couple of weeks. Getting temporarily banned means that you're now on LinkedIn's radar. They will watch your every move, so make sure you don't do anything stupid. So here's a warm-up schedule I have seen working well for some of our clients who had gotten banned for whatever reason, right? So send five to 10 manual connection requests per day to people who are likely to accept them. So these are people you know, uh, or people who you've interacted with on LinkedIn. Send 20 to 30 messages daily to existing connections or new people who will talk to you to show LinkedIn that you know people actually do talk to you on LinkedIn. And then you can like, comment and share a few posts so that LinkedIn thinks you're an active upstanding member of the LinkedIn community. The second thing is it's a don't, uh, don't get impatient and create a new LinkedIn account. I'll cover why it's a really bad idea later in the video. So make sure you keep watching. If you still really want to have multiple LinkedIn accounts to scale up your cold outreach, I'll cover them in another separate video. So make sure you hit the subscribe button. Once you're back on automation tools, let's say in the next three to four weeks, make sure that you're doing, uh, you know, very limited activity, 40 to 50 new connection requests, every day max and then 40 to 50 new direct messages to your connections every day so that's on the temporary restriction what about the permanent restriction this is when you get something like this your account has been restricted this is not a fun one at all and there's no guarantee that you'll get your linkedin account back here are a few things to try first things first don't panic that doesn't help anyone so don't panic second verify your identity you make sure that your identity document is very clear don't don't upload like hazy looking photos of your passport or driving license like this one make sure it's very clear well lit and you know anyone can read what is what it says third thing contact linkedin support you can go to their support website and contact them or uh, you can tell them that the permanent restriction is a mistake you know you've been had and you don't know what you've been doing sometimes this works a lot of times it doesn't the most probable thing that will happen is that they they just won't get back to you right like they don't reply that often uh, so if you don't get a reply you can actually tag linkedin support on twitter no brand wants to show that they're unresponsive towards their customers in full public view so they often respond to you very quickly within 24 hours and they resolve your issue very quickly as well so this is a hack uh, just tag linkedin support on twitter and you're much more likely to hear back from them and then finally please 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 for the love of god don't create a new linkedin account immediately because first of all you'll lose all the data and all the old connections that you already had right you'll have to start from scratch rebuild your entire network you know you'll you'll violate linkedin's rule of having just one linkedin account per person right and you'll risk getting both of your accounts permanently banned if you have to create a new account and you really want to and never create it from your main computer from where you used to log into the other account right that the one that got banned always buy a proxy you know http proxy for a new location use a different name use a different phone number for sign up and make sure that there's no way that linkedin can link it back to your old account because you're you just you'll just get banned why does this even happen why does linkedin ban your account right so the first thing and the most common thing you, you might have used an unsafe linkedin automation tool we've got a ton of competitors out there and we've seen a lot of them getting uh, their linkedin accounts banned and this is why a lot of people come over to sales robot because we've, we've got a really good safe mode that doesn't get anyone's accounts banned the other thing is you might be sending too many connection requests if you get a you know a warning that looks something like this like you've reached the weekly invitation limit this means that you're driving too fast you should throttle back and not do too much of it the other reason could be that no one is accepting your requests right linkedin thinks you're a spammer if linkedin thinks you're a spammer this means this could mean three things one there's too many pending invites you let's say you've sent an invite to like you know 2000 people and only 20 or 30 of them have accepted it so this makes this many pending invites you could do many people clicking ignore right so if somebody actually uh, ignores your sent connection request and then worst if they actually click on i don't know this person then that's a clear flag to linkedin that you're somebody who's who's spamming people and the third thing is if nobody's replying to your messages now that could be because of a few reasons 
if they're not replying to your messages, it could be that, you know, you've written this long paragraph of a message. Nobody really wants to read this long a message from the stranger. If they actually mark you as spam, then that's the worst, right? Because that explicitly shows LinkedIn that you've been spamming people. So even if they are accepting your connection request or, you know, seeing your in-mails, if they mark you as spam, then that's as bad as possible. <laughs> the other reason could be you've actually created a fake LinkedIn profile. Fake LinkedIn profiles, you know, they get banned all the time. LinkedIn does not tolerate it at all. It's a violation of their, you know, community policies as well as their user agreement. If LinkedIn detects that you've created a fake profile, they'll obviously ban it. Even if you've used AI-generated profile pictures, LinkedIn has detections around it. They know that this profile picture is AI and they'll ban it immediately. So there's no real way of getting around uh, fake profiles, right? You'll get banned. Now, how do you avoid getting restricted that this doesn't happen to you or your friends in the future? First thing is pay the piper, LinkedIn, buy LinkedIn premium. We've seen that uh, even with automation tools, if you use LinkedIn premium, they're much less likely to ban you. We actually ran a clear A-B test where we actually put in a LinkedIn profile with very similar amount of connections with similar age of account on automation tools and with similar outreach levels, the first account that was not paying LinkedIn didn't have LinkedIn premium. It got banned within a month and the other one kept continuing so if you pay them they'll leave you alone because they want to make money right they're like any other business they want money uh, if you pay them it also helps you you know increase the number of connection requests you can send increase the number of messages you can send get in mail credits as well as you know it increases the number of leads you can scrape from linkedin second thing is optimize your linkedin profile we recently recorded a great video around this so i'll put that in the show notes below you can check it out and optimize your linkedin profile the third thing is you know follow linkedin outreach best practices like no one really walks up to a stranger in real life tells them a paragraph of like 500 words about why they should work with them. Just imagine you're in, at a networking event and you just, instead of just handing somebody your uh, visiting card, you handed them a long essay about why they should work with you. They'll look at you weird, right? And they'll think you're, you're stupid. So you're doing pretty much the same thing, but online. Don't do it. Write short, simple, sweet messages. In Sales Robot, we've even got a AI-based message scorer that gives you the chances of getting a response. So sign up for Sales Robot and, and try that out. That will help you write good messages. The other thing is, you know, you should scale LinkedIn outreach the smart way. Don't uh, just spam. The first thing is you can send in-mail messages. So even if you don't have a premium profile, you can use something called the LinkedIn open profile hack, which means that if you search for your target list inside of LinkedIn Sales Navigator, you can see some of these people have this gold icon, right? So what that means is that this person, if you click on their profile and you go uh, to the message section, it will show that you can send them an in-mail without actually using any credits, right? And you can send up to 800 of these a month, right? So you can either do it manually or you can use a tool like Sales Robot that does that automatically, but, but be smart, use something like this. The second thing is you can obviously use multiple LinkedIn accounts, but then you have to be very clever, right? Like you have to use a different IP address, a different phone number and a different name. It can't be under your name, right? Or you can rent a profile from some of these vendors and then, you know, make your own. I can link one of the vendors in the description below. Uh, the other good way to bypass LinkedIn limits, we've, we've recorded a separate video around this too, is to send via LinkedIn groups and events. I think LinkedIn now doesn't allow you to send these many via groups or events. So what you can do is you can go to LinkedIn groups. If you join that group, you can actually send them a message directly from that group without needing to connect with them. And LinkedIn doesn't mind it. You can send about 200 of these a day. We've even recorded a nice video around it. The other thing you can do, and this is an upcoming hack, and we, there's no automation around it yet, at least in Sales Robot on, or any other product that I've seen, but you can go to the services tab in LinkedIn search and find people who are providing a particular service and just message them directly. You don't need to be connected with them. So let's say you target graphic designers with the new graphic design software, right? That competes with Canva, for example. So what you can, what I will do is I'll just search for graphic designers right here and I'll click on the services tab. Once I've done that, I can see that these are all the people who provide graphic design services. So I'll just click message. I'll type in a message like, hi there, do, do you use Canva for graphic design? We've come up with a better alternative. Do you mind? if we show you a quick video around it. So that actually gets you uh, good results without getting you banned. This is what all that you need to do to make sure that one, you get your LinkedIn account back, you don't get banned in the future, and you understand why LinkedIn even bans accounts. All right, so that's it for this video. Again, stay tuned. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Just stay tuned for 
a lot of valuable content around LinkedIn and sales that will keep pushing out in this channel. All right, that's it for now. Bye-bye.